Unlock the full power of Microsoft 365, your ultimate guide to buying and setting up. Today, we're diving into Microsoft 365. Your complete toolkit for getting things done. We'll cover creating your Microsoft account, picking the right plan, personal, family, or business, buying it for your Windows or Mac, and getting it all set up. So, if you're wondering how to start with Microsoft 365, stick around. Let's start by clearing up a common confusion. Office 365 was renamed to Microsoft 365, and now it's evolving further as Microsoft 365 Copilot. You still get the same trusted Office apps. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. But now they're bundled with powerful cloud tools like Teams for collaboration and generous OneDrive storage, all seamlessly integrated. Step 1. Your Microsoft account, the key. Before anything else, you need a Microsoft account. This is your gateway to all Microsoft services, including your M365 subscription. And here's the thing. If you've ever used Outlook.com, Hotmail, OneDrive, or Xbox Live you might already have one. If you don't have one, no worries, setting it up is simple. Open Google and search for Microsoft account. Click on the first link, which should take you to the official Microsoft account page. Click the sign in button. On the sign in page, select create one. To start creating a new account, click on get a new email address. If you don't want to use an existing one, choose your preferred domain either at Outlook.com or at Hotmail.com. Enter the username you'd like to use. Click Next. Then create a strong password. Click on Next again. Select your country or region, then enter your date of birth. Click Next or OK to finish, and that's it. Your Microsoft account is ready to use. Tip. Create a strong password and turn on two-factor authentication for added security. Part 2. Choosing the Microsoft 365 Plan Microsoft 365 has plans for everyone, on Windows or Mac. Let's find yours. Microsoft 365 Personal. Perfect for one person. You get premium Office apps, 1TB of OneDrive cloud storage, and can use it on multiple devices. PCs, Macs, phones, and tablets. Microsoft 365 Family. Best value for households. Share with up to six people. Everyone gets their own premium apps and their own one terabyte of OneDrive storage. Both plans include continuous updates, ad free Outlook, and security features. Yearly subscriptions usually save you money over monthly. If you're setting up Microsoft 365 for your business, there are powerful tools designed to boost teamwork and keep your data secure. Two of the most popular plans are Business Basic and Business Standard. Microsoft 365 Business Basic. Great if you primarily need web and mobile versions of Office apps, plus professional email exchange, Microsoft Teams for chat and meetings, and SharePoint for team sites. Includes 1TB OneDrive per user. Desktop apps are not included. If your team needs the full power of desktop applications, Microsoft 365 Business Standard is the way to go. It includes everything in Business Basic, plus the full desktop versions of Office apps like Outlook, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint for both PC and Mac, making it ideal for teams that rely on robust, installed tools. There's also Business Premium for advanced security and enterprise plans for larger organizations. What about one-time purchases like Office 2021? You might come across options like Office Home and Business 2021. This is a one-time purchase, meaning you pay once to install the Office apps on a single computer. It includes the classic versions of apps like Word and Excel, but it doesn't come with new feature updates, only security fixes. You also won't get large OneDrive storage or advanced cloud collaboration tools. And when a new version is released in the future, you'll need to buy it separately at full price. For most, the Microsoft 365 subscription offers better value with its constant updates, cloud storage, and multi-device access. Got your plan picked out? Great! Let's walk through the purchase process. 
head over to the official Microsoft 365 website just search for Microsoft 365 Home or Microsoft 365 Business. You can also buy it from trusted retailers like Best Buy. Choose the plan that suits your needs, for example, family or business standard. Decide between monthly or annual billing. An annual plan usually saves you more in the long run. Click on Buy Now to proceed. Sign in using your Microsoft account. This will connect your subscription, add your payment details and confirm your purchase. You'll receive a confirmation email shortly after. If you bought a retail card with a product key, go to microsoft365.com slash setup, sign in, and enter the key. Now let's get Microsoft 365 installed on your device. Let's start by installing the apps. For personal or family plans, head to account.microsoft.com, sign in, then go to services and subscriptions. You'll see an install button next to your office apps. Click on it, and your Microsoft 365 apps will begin installing. For business plans, if you're an admin, sign in at admin.microsoft.com. Otherwise, go to microsoft365.com and look for the Install Apps or Install Office option. Now, click on the Install Apps or Install Office button. Next, select your preferred language. By default, it's set to English. Below that, choose the version you want. Default, 32-bit, or 64-bit. We recommend going with the default option unless you have specific needs. Then, click the Install button below. The setup file will start downloading. Once it's done, run the installer to begin the installation. And that's it. Your Microsoft 365 apps will be installed shortly. Once the apps are installed, open any Office app such as Outlook. At the top, you'll see a prompt asking you to activate the product. Click on File in the top left corner, then scroll down and select Office Account. Next, click the Activate Product button and then choose the Sign In option. You'll need to enter the account credentials email and password of the account through which the subscription was purchased. After entering the details, click OK. If you prefer to activate only the current app instead of all Office apps, you can select the option, No, sign in to this app only. Once done, the app will be activated. Let's also set up OneDrive. OneDrive, your cloud storage service, typically installs automatically with Office. To set it up, Sign in using your Microsoft account. Any files you place in the OneDrive folder on your computer will automatically sync to the cloud and be accessible from your other devices. If you're an admin, go to admin.microsoft.com to add users and assign them licenses. You can also set up a custom domain like you at yourcompany.com for professional email. This requires making a few DNS changes with your domain provider. Manage your subscription anytime. For personal and family account, go to account.microsoft.com, then services and subscriptions for billing, sharing family plan, or cancellation. For business accounts, Here's a walkthrough on how to purchase licenses, add users, and assign those licenses through the Microsoft 365 admin portal. Start by logging into your Microsoft admin account. Once you're in, head to the left-hand menu and select Billing, then click on your products. On the right side, you'll see Add More Products. Below that, you'll find the list of products you've already purchased. Now, click on Add More Products to open the marketplace. There. Browse or search for the license you need. For example, Microsoft 365 Business Basic. Click on the license to view its details. Choose how many licenses you want to buy, and then select your preferred billing term, monthly, yearly, or multi-year. After reviewing everything, click Buy to complete your purchase. Next, let's add a new user. In the Admin Center, go to Users then select Active Users. Click on Add a User, 
and enter their basic information like first name, last name, display name, and a username. Choose the domain for the user, e.g., username at yourcompany.com. Set a password. You can either let Microsoft generate one or create your own. Decide whether the user should change their password upon first sign in. Once done, click Next. Now it's time to assign a license to the user. First, select their location. Then, check the box for the license you want to assign, like Microsoft Power Automate Free. If needed, you can expand the app list and toggle specific services on or off. Click Next to continue. You'll now see some optional settings. Here, you can assign admin roles or fill in profile details, but this step is optional. Click Next again. Finally, review everything on the summary page. If all looks good, click Finish Adding. That's it, your new user is now set up and ready to use Microsoft 365 with their assigned license. That's it, you're all set with Microsoft 365 account created, plan chosen, and ready to use on Windows or Mac.